Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Yeah. Hopefully the audio is good. Is this proper audio? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's the right audio. Yay. We've got the cats, we've got the games. Yay, Today cats. we're going to be playing some Atari 5200 games. Very rare. Bring it on. Very rare. Oh, almost Squish. sat on a cat. I saw him. <laughs> it's Atari 5200 day Yay. today. So let's... Oh my gosh, it is so big. Wait. Party time it's for kittens. Huge. It's party time for kittens. Gamma Dev has brought out the catnip. What's this? Who wants this? Oh, Sid says he wants it. Yeah, okay. What about Atari? You want some? Would you like to dole out the catnip? I will dole it out. You'll have to whoop onto the floor. Uh, today we're going to be playing three Atari 5200 games. We're going to be playing Rodman, Beef Drop. And train one, two, three. It's all one train game. Um, but first, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers. Let's switch over to the cat cam so you can see them partake in their party times. Party time for, for kittens. kitties. Woohoo, it's Friday. I want to thank the Twitch subscribers who help support the show and keep these cats full of catnip. Yeah. I don't even feel like Sid eats it. He just like immediately <laughs> smushes his face into it. <laughs> Yeah. There he goes. He's enjoying it. There he oh, goes. He's, he's oh, he's cuddling up to Atari. Atari, well. Couple kisses. Yeah. Alan the Fur, Andrew, oh. Atari, Atari, 1974, Atari, HBO, Poca, Bruno Stacks, Captain Class, Charleston, Mount, Charleston, Mal, Charles Wynn, Chitlala, Concord Ranger, Cubanismo, Cyrano, Reboot, Dianoid, Dan C, DMC, Dr. Mook House, Eric Cart, Gamma Dev, Gisbar, uh, Rondinella, Grey Defender, Ground Trooper, Aldo Ju, JG, Johnny WC, Caputo Coder, Carl G, Karakak, Karaka 2600, Developer, Lambda Express, Matty Sipic, T, Mark S, Mark Space, Inc, Melatari, McMeans, Mike Sol, Mike Town, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Money Funster, Neo, Media, Nostalgia, Coog, Arantros, Render Ghost, Friendless, VG, Revan, Tullius, Work, Cardo Pim, Six Weeds, Mitty B, Spice Force, Spinley, oh my god, uh, S. Ramirez, Strawberry System, <laughs> The D Train, Tiki Dan, KT, Post Trek, and B Tweeny, Vexor X, Vintage Gaming Memories, VVG Double Down and X can X. If you want to be on that list, just hit subscribe and you can be. It's free with Amazon Prime. You just have to find all the buttons and you'll get there. Mm -hmm. um, or you can just follow us and you'll know when these shows are on Tuesday and Friday. Tuesday usually. and Friday. Um, or you can just watch on YouTube later. Yeah. They're posted usually the next day, unless it's at noon. Then I post the same day. So this. Into the news, this little cat, this little black and white cat went for his first vet visit yes. today with us anyway. We, well, yes, yes. Um, he passed with, oh my God, he's chewing the carpet. He actually lifted the carpet up with his mouth. <laughs> he's very bad. Um, <laughs> he's a happy cat though. He's happy he's home. Yeah. Uh, he did very well. Yeah. He, he, he explored, he slunk around the room at first. Very scared. It was just me there. Yeah. Um, and then he came back to me and kind of hid in behind me. Yeah. But when the vet came in, he went right to her and said hi timidly. Yeah. And good. Um, then uh, he got pri bribed with uh, some of that tube treats. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ch what is it Chuba called? Chuba or something Chuba like that. Choo -choo? Yeah. Something, any. Anyway. Yeah. Um, but then he got poked and prodded and then he stopped eating the treats. He wasn't too happy when people were trying to re rearrange his organs. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. But he passed with flying colors. Good, he's healthy. He's, Yay, he's a healthy, healthy cat. He's very yeah. healthy. Uh, and these two are going to go into cat jail while we're away. Yes, yeah. Uh, he may get some vaccinations if he needs them. <sighs> See how so he deals with that. He's not going to yes. like the vet for very long. No. <laughs> No. no. He's going to know what those cat carriers mean when we stuff them into them. <laughs> oh. Get in the cat carrier. Oh, PTSD from the carriers. Yeah, but well. they're going to be housed together. That's always While good. we're at PRGE. Yeah. Mm hmm um so they can uh comfort each other and, <laughs> and atari can explain the whole situation yes to, to, to sid. sid and say it's okay yeah, it doesn't last okay. forever yeah amaze me nostalgic says it amazes me how vets can keep even the most nervous cat calm during the actual yeah zone. they're pretty good with cats he wasn't there. hissing he wasn't biting he wasn't scratching he was just kind of wiggly yeah he didn't want to like, be wiggle, held wiggle, right wiggle, yeah wiggle. yeah he's like, let me go yeah I'm not mad but just let me go look at him he's got his chin on oh, the ground oh he's so cute and he's being a silly kitty yeah so there good was cats. um last episode there was a bit of 
Um, debate. How to pronounce T-A-T-E. Okay. Oh, yes. And, yes. And I'm not going to say the pronunciation. I know what the pronunciation is. Because you've told me like 20 times since that episode. So. <laughs> yeah, he is yeah. mellow. The uh, catnip worked on him. Yes. Yeah. He's, he's chilling now. Yeah. Him with the tari. <laughs> yes. Tari's off. He's off screen. A little bit off screen. Yeah. Oh, no. He's, you can he's see off. his tail. Yeah. yeah. Um, his leg, yeah. And it's when games are played in vertical mode. Yes. Usually shooters. Mm hmm almost almost exclusively shooters so that you have a a long uh, vertical shooters so you yeah. have a long range to shoot and you can see things coming in from a long way yeah and modern games on consoles support it if you can turn your tv and some people have tvs on swivels or more likely it's you're going to be your computer monitor yeah, on a true. swivel because yeah. some people use it for documents yeah some people do like to look at vertical documents yeah yep. yeah and i I've, I've Debated whether putting this TV on a on a swivel mm. because of Lynx games. Yes. Lynx games have a lot of vertical games. Have a lot of vertical yeah, games because it can be held, you know, vertically or horizontally. And there is actually a twenty six hundred game that is played vertically. Really? And it's a uh, maze game. So you turn the whole CRT on its side? Yes, is you that turn the real? whole CRT on its <laughs> side. <laughs> Be a Pocock. I should tell you, she's a biter. Oh, don't worry. I work with angry cats all the time. Returns the bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My cat slash dog is friendly. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Let me dismiss that. Oh, it mm -hmm. went away by itself. Never mind. Okay, so um, I said it was one way. Yeah. The chat or some people insisted it was another it way. It was the other way. And James. Th they said it was Tate. As in, rotate your monitor. Okay. And I said it was Tate. Yeah. Um, because I looked it up previously. Because I always want to make sure I'm saying the right thing. Or yeah. Or have the right information. Yeah. But then, you know, they made me question myself. It's mm. like, oh, maybe it is Tate as in rotate. Because you rotate the screen. It's like, okay. Hmm. Um, so I, I looked it up. Um, just to be sure. Because, you know, I want to give the right information. Uh, first, I came across this article about the Evercade. Evercade, okay. Five of our top um, Tate slash Tate yeah. mode games on Evercade. And right at the top. Well, it doesn't say pronunciation here. Yeah, it does. Right at oh. the top. Pronounced right oh. there. Ta Where? Oh, Tate. Yes, yeah, so that Evercade EXP at launch plays 21 games that are exper best experienced in Tate mode. Tate, pronounced Tate, is a Japanese word meaning vertical. And it describes games in which the screen is oriented vertically rather than horizontally. In other words, the longest edges are down the sides rather than at the top and bottom. Tate mode games have been part of video game history since the earliest days of arcades. Titles which make use of this screen orientation have narrow, tall play fields. If they scroll at all, tend to scroll vertically. It's a style presentation that is particularly associated with the shoot 'em up genre. Mm. But there are other titles out there which use Tate mode without giving your fire button finger workout. Since most home monitors and TVs have a landscape, Yoko orientation by default, many computers and console ports of games that were presented in Tate in the arcades featured a narrow playing field in the middle of the horizontal screen. So blah, blah, blah. Keeps going on. And you can go yeah. to this Wikipedia page about <laughs> Japanese writing as well. Oh, really? At the beginning of the change to horizontal alignment in the Meiji era Japan, there was a short-lived form called Migi Yokogaki, literally right horizontal writing. In contrast to here... Hidari Yokogake, left horizontal writing, blah, blah, blah. Vertical writing, Tate Gaki, is still commonly used in Japanese ah. and novels, news newspapers, and magazines, including most Japanese mm. comics and graphic novels. So there you go. And here we are, how to pronounce Tate. <laughs> <laughs> so, nice. blah, blah, blah. Yes, nice, nice music. Tate, length, height. Hopefully this should come. Tate. 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 You have to say it like that, though. Tate. 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 Yes. Tate. Yeah, you have to voice it exactly <laughs> like that. So there, there you, go. you go. That is how to pronounce Tate. It's a Japanese word. It has nothing to do with the English. Rotate. Rotate. But I can get why people would think it's like Tate, because yeah. Rotate also relates to what you're doing with the screen. So Yeah, and I can I, see I where it. that popped up from, because people it's have to funny. rotate the screen. Yeah. 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 
It's interesting. Tate. 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 Of course it has to be pronounced like that. Absolutely. Um, so the first game we're going to be playing today yep. is Rodman. Uh, it's first posted around 2020. This is by Mika Kiren, mm -hmm. uh, a.k.a. Misfit. I don't think they're on the Atari Age forums because mm. other people were posting this game in the Atari Age forum. So I don't have an Atari Age name. Uh, this build of the game is from March 24th, 2020. Um, it's available on itch their itch.io website. Nice. Um, so let's take a look at their uh, website. Mm. Rodman, a downloadable game. Guide Rodman around the maze collecting the round purple things. Also collect the yellow diamonds because they're bombs and can be used to blow up Rodman's enemies. When moving around, avoid things which are also moving around as they aren't very nice. Apparently, the things that move around are called Naughty Nick, Dirty Tim, Desperate Dave, Spurious Pete, Teflon Timmy, although no one knows why. <laughs> there are three levels. Each level has three screens. There's the garden, the house, and the basement, giving a total of nine unique screens. Digital downloads include six different versions, so it's not only for the 5200. It's for the Commodore 64, Commodore VIC-20 with extra 16K RAM, a ZX Spectrum, and a few versions for the Atari 8-bit. So it's also available in the Atari 8-bit, which you find a lot when you encounter 5200 games. There's very, very few 5200-only games. Probably most the ones that would be unique for the 5200 are analog joystick games because mm. the 5200 shipped with analog joysticks, mm. which makes it quite unique until the modern era. There's a, a smattering of analog joysticks, but most console systems are left equals left, yeah. right equals right, yeah. up, down. But on the 5200, left is like, how much left do you want to move? How much right, up, mm. down? So you could position yourself. It's more like a mouse or a paddle. Mm. Uh, the games we're going to be playing today are digital uh, games. So I have a digital joystick for the 5200. So left is left, right is right. There is no left and right. Um, although it does have uh, little twiddly knobs that you can use to move left, right, up, down. But those are more for centering the joystick. Gotcha, not for... Not movement. for playing because okay. it's hard to... It's like an Etch-A-Sketch, actually. So it's like, yeah. which is up, down, left, right? Uh, yeah. Kind of weird, yeah. Oh, in Spanish, with Tate Keto, we mean don't move. Que, que date... Queto. Queto. Oh, interesting. And Polygox confirms. Yeah, because the Tate Keto, that's what Polygox said. It. Oh, yeah. okay. Is the protagonist named Dennis, by any chance? Dennis? Uh, Dennis, uh, no, <laughs> it's not nostalgic. Um, so we're going to be playing the 5200 mm. version of this game today. Uh, I thought it was unique. Mm. It's kind of a cross. Of like Pac-Man? Pac-Man and Bomberman. I was going to say if they're bombs, it, that's what it sounds like. But you have to collect the bombs mm. and, and you can still lay the bombs. Um, so like the power-ups are the bombs gotcha. and you can put them anywhere you want and, and get the bad guys. And do you, do you guys. kill the bad guys or do they respawn? Permanently kill them. I Permanent. believe okay. I only barely played this okay. and I went, Oh, that's cool. Let's that play that cool. in the show. Um, so let's load it up. I've got my 5,200 massive, massive console you can it see in the cat cam there barely it, fits on that little table there. So it is, uh, it is big. It is an big. instrument of uh, 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 much damage. And, and <laughs> how big is the board in it? it? Is it like this big? Like it's that big? Well, and the board is like that big. It's it's something like that because <laughs> it has um, storage for uh, drinks in the top. R drinks really? No, it's the joysticks. Okay. Um, which take about. I'm like that didn't sound right. <laughs> which take up about a quarter of I'll the height. Put my beer height. in there. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> the yeah. joysticks, okay. And the angry video game nerd famously put his beer in there. Gotcha. On his, okay, that makes sense. Because a beer does pretty much fit in there. Mm -hmm. If you once you empty it out, we'll try mm -hmm. it out. But mm -hmm. you have to make sure it's completely empty. My good Belgian beer. Yeah. Okay. So let's. Uh, mm. Yeah. What are you drinking today? Belgian beer. Belgian Leffe. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> yes. Probably. Strong Belgian beer. 
One of my favorites. Now I can't tell nice. you where Honda. I got this 5200 controller. I got it a while ago. Um, I'll just show it to you. Um, it's very cool because it's all in one. It has a digital joystick, has the analog controls mm -hmm. if you want or have to use them. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. I'd probably recommend using an analog joystick. Um, it's got the two buttons and it's got the full keypad nice. as well. So nice. you can do all the options. Some have a separate keypad mm. and you can plug a joystick, like a normal joystick into the keypad. Oh, I see on the side. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So there you go. Such a nice. It is very nice. 3D printed shell, yes. but it's a very nice 3D printed it shell. Is. So try not to touch the knobs because they're calibrated already. Okay. So let's go down to today's date. And the joystick controls a little, a little differently. You'll, you'll get used to it. Misfit 2018 presents Rodman 1.0. So there's Naughty Nick, Dirty Tim, Desperate Dave, Spurious Pete, and Teflon Timmy. Scroll on the left. Get ready. See your little dude. Oh, he bounces. And also, it's not constant movement, so you do have to direct direct him around the maze. Which may be good or bad. It's just different. And there's oh, the there's hard. the collector, and you can see on the left, you can store three of them. Oh oh oh! Missed. Damn. Well, that's a good spot to put it because it's a um, a crossway. So it exploded down and to the sides. Pay Poirot Pale Ale. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's Belgian. Uh -huh. I described the size of the 5200 as you get what you put a P what you get when you put a PS5 on its side. Yeah, the PS5 is massive. I didn't think they'd need to make it that big. But okay, so you've got two. Okay, now there are exits to the left. Oh, that's funny. Uh, exits to the left and right, which wrap around this maze. Now there's Don't exits. They kill them? No, there's exits oh. in the top and bottom, which go to the other screens. How do I exit? I uh, just explained it. So you have to go to the top or bottom to get to the other screens. Not this. No, but it's up. There you go. Oh, okay. I thought it was closed. That's oh, why I said, "How no, do I no, get no. get it open?" Oh, okay. No, no, no. Uh, the pseudo 3D effect in the maze is pretty cool. I wouldn't have expected that on the 5200. Well, 5200 is a fairly capable machine. It's it's like um. I don't know if you can kill yourself. <gasps> Oops. Yes, you, you can. can. Kill yourself. It's Sorry, like I, sh a I should have gone down there. Very scaled down Atari, uh, like an early Atari 8 bit. Um, let me just get the specs up on it. Um, just so I'm not speaking out of turn. So this was put out in 1982 and discontinued two years later. Uh, not oh, even. Like geez. November 82 and discontinued May 84, so a year and a bit is put out. But it sold a million, which is not nothing. It has 16K of RAM, so yeah, really Oh God. basic, basic 8-bit. I'm not great at Bomberman, so <laughs> <laughs> that aspect of it. Right. Not great. This is really cool. Yeah, it's a I very I like the kind of combo gameplay. Yeah, and I've never seen that on another uh, game where it's Pac-Man and Bomberman. Yet, I mean, able to get one of these guys. I bet there's games that don't present themselves like Pac-Man that are like this and you collect mm -hmm. things. But this is obviously a uh, takeoff on Pac-Man because it's got the maze and the dots and the power-ups where you kind of expect them to be. Um... Famously, the 5200 has... Um, ooh, so oh, close! Oh, man, oh, man. Ah! I can't move very fast. It's, like, so precise in the movement that I get caught on edges all the time. Oh, 7800 only has 4K room. This guy is so fast! And you can't turn precisely, so he gets you at the corners. <laughs> yeah, because on Pac-Man, you can oh. turn before you get there, really. Yeah. Because he's constantly moving, and you can... You could do... I don't know if diagonals work in this. You could try diagonals. I think I'm hitting diagonals. That's the problem. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Like... Oh, and the diagonals stop you? Stop you from moving? You can always exit out the top as well. Oh, 
it can't go down. It's so precise. Maybe you'll have a better time with it than I am. Maybe. You yeah, usually I usually do a little bit better with that. 16k RAM is oodles compared to four for the 7800. Bounty Bob strikes back that has that as well. If you really want to be impressed, play Atari Blast. Oh, we did a long time ago. Atari Blast is like I can't go incredible. down. I'm trying to go down and get away, but I can't. I'm like back and forth and back and forth. I'm hitting the angles. I'm not hitting oh. it. I'm not hitting it precisely enough. Does the angle stop you? Is oh. that the issue? See, yeah. Like, oh, I'm hitting down, but no, I'm hitting an angle, and then I'm not moving. Oh, I'm no. I'm getting caught. You get caught if you're hitting the angles. Yeah, that's um, that's not a good... You can see where I pause? It's like I'm moving, and then I suddenly pause? Yeah, that's not oh. a good programming practice there. If um, you hit an angle after already holding down a direction, it should continue in that angle. I think you might get one. Finally! Yeah. <laughs> It should continue in that direction, even though you started pressing it, it a you, different direction. It, you have I, to keep... It's like you're going step, 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 and if you stop, you stop, and yeah. I think quite Try. possibly... It's cool, though. Four oh, your hands are so hot. I'm sweating. I'm so sweating. I had to walk a fair distance before I got home today, and it's hot out, and I am just... Oh, it's so warm today. So what you have to do is just let go. need a second go. beer when this is done. <laughs> I need to cool down. Oh, he's so fast. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't, unlike Pac-Man, you don't corner mm. quicker than them. You corner as just as fast as them. And it takes time to turn Slow. around. He kind of nibbles on uh, you See that? They eat it. They eat the little bit of a dot. Yeah, they do. <gasps> it's cute. Oh, it eats, it eats a whole thing. Yeah. Oh, so they eat away at it. Because you get... I wonder, you, I wonder if you do get less points. So it's one fast guy and two slow guys. But you get more fast guys at the later levels, I think. Oh, you, oh, I you could go through. Oh, yeah, I told you that. about that. I Tandy was listening. Can't, I Tandy can't play and listen. I can't. It's very <laughs> true. Um, oh, so you can leave the level at any time? Uh, yeah. You can go top or bottom, but you have to oh. do all the levels. You have to uh, complete, complete all the them. levels. Yeah. Up. No. Yeah, you have to let go of the joystick, and then there's this swampy area which slows you down, which is kind of cool. Jump, 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 jump. Clear that out. Oh, no! I should have predicted that. Oh my god, it's so hard. Count four colors, counting black. Okay, well, it's using um, a video graphics mode that is four colors. Three plus one. Well, I, it was game over. I, I lost. <laughs> I don't think there's any penalty for going to a different screen. Maybe you lose all your um, bombs. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Oh, you bastard. I don't know if they have any knowledge that a bomb is there. Or they just move around kind of dumb. Like, like, yeah, randomly. Yeah, three plus transparency, maybe. Oh, boy. Go, I would guy, go to the left. I would go to the left. That guy keeps coming back. Oh, what? I don't have a bomb. No, run. Go to the left. Oh, oh I should have. Oh, damn it. We will play until we finish the level. <laughs> so I want to see what the next one looks like. Yeah. That guy's brutal. I'm going to go over here. And finish this area and get some bombs. Because this guy's slower. I think the joystick handling is weird, eh? Is weird and could have been done differently. Oh, you missed <gasps> ah. one. Oh, you missed thank one. You. Is, is there no up, up? Or is there a down? Oh, yeah, there's oh, I'm a at down. The top. Oh, well, you can go down. Oh. Come on, come on, come on back. Okay, well, that's okay. I'm done this. Yep. And then there's no up here because I think there's only three. And so there's a down and an up from that main screen. Yeah. Actually, you can keep... Oh, my God. Oh, he ate the dot. Score goes down. What? Is because they're eating well, the dots? Well, probably because they're eating the dots. I, I bet that's oh, true. No. Oh, yes. When they eat a dot, my score goes down. That makes sense. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <gasps> yes! Oh, you got the fast guy. Oh, now good it's job. much easier. Oh, so good. 
I love how they half eat the dots. I think that's so cute. We'll never They're like, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll accept tasty. it. Oh. Oh god, it went into screensaver, which really shouldn't happen. How do you do that? How do you get it out? Uh, that's a good question. Any uh, experts on screensavers? How to disable a screensaver on the fifty-two hundred? Oh my god, it's in hard mode now. Can you make it a better color, please? This is a bad color. Blue and blue. How do I do it? No, no, you can't. No, 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 don't. Oh. There's only one button. Maybe oh. if I press some of these keys on the... Oh, it's so hard. It's like substituting one of the colors or more. Oh, it's brutal. Definitely hard mode. Help me chat. How do you disable? It's the screensaver, the Atari 8-bit screensaver. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. oh, damn it, Zimmer. Ah! Oh. Okay. Well, I'm not playing like that for my whole game, so we're going to load it again. Pausing doesn't clear a register. Looks like you're uh, on the 8 bits is poke 70, 77, 0. I don't know if the same allocation. Taken down with. Yes, yeah. I definitely was at a disadvantage. But we don't have any pause. Or is there a pause? Are any of these pauses? I can try them. Not on the title screen. None of these are pauses. I'll try it during the game. One of them should probably quit. Nope. None of the buttons do anything. So I am hooked. I just gotta do it quick. Go down to the bottom one whenever you're mm -hmm. so we can see it. Oh yeah. It's a different base. It's gray. It's probably the best idea is to just stay away from the yellow guy at oh, first. Oh yeah, he's terrible. Because he has to eat his way out of his area. My god. Ooh, oh my god, I got, got him. him! Oh. And you didn't die, and I don't know how you managed I that, don't but that know was how excellent. I managed it either. <laughs> that gray guy was right up against me. I have no idea how that happened. And I survived. Read out. Also, on the Please. 8 bits, you could just press any console key. Mm. Yeah, we don't have that luxury, unfortunately. There is no keyboard. Mm. No keyboard attach? Was there ever a keyboard attachment? There must have been. On the 5200? 5200. Like some. Or maybe some was planned. Maybe they didn't even bother because, like, you know, it's, it's not an 8 bit. You go buy a computer if you want a computer. I really want to get that. Come down here. Come on. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, go down. Interesting. If you, you can lay it and it's underneath you, so as soon as you move, that's when it starts going. Oh boy. Damn it. Okay, I'm coming back later. Oh, I wonder if they reset. Or do they stay where they were? They don't! They reset. That's interesting. So if you're really hooped, I mean, you have to do that. Otherwise, you would never go back to that board. Yeah, that's true. You'd be like, well, I can't go back there. It's going to kill me. Not like that. <laughs> Not die. Yeah. And get over there and and um, sort that all that Ooh. out because the fast guy is going to eat all those pellets anyway, right? Mm -hmm. So while he eats those pellets and clears out that part of the board, which kind of bad this fits you unless you're going for. Damn it! Hmm. The score <laughs> for score. I'm going for levels. Oh, you want to do it? I do want to. New play. high score! <laughs> 468! Software collision detection. And while you're doing that, I am going to look up 
disable screensaver that sounds on the like 5200. I'm sure you can't. Saver. Because none of the commercial software would have a screensaver built in. And this was ported over from the 8-bit. No! Oh. Let's see. They, may, they made a 50 owner stick that doesn't have pause. What about start and reset? Um, those A, B, and C on this joystick do emulate those, but I think they have to be programmed to do things. Just like on the 2600, they have... Press it, press it. He's chasing you. Press the... Well, he is smart. At least that guy's smart. Too to smart run away. for his own good. Oh, I'm dead. You can run through it. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, on the 2600, all... The color black and white, A, B, right difficulty, left difficulty, game reset, and uh, what is it? Game select are all um, developer programmable. They mean nothing to the 2600. So I'm guessing the three buttons on the um, joystick of the 5200 are the same, but I'm oh, not I a 50 get so caught. I don't know how you move so cl cleanly. I let go of the joystick and move left. Let go of it, move down. Let go of it, move right. I don't... Uh, but you don't go continuously. I'm just... I just do it faster. That's a slow explanation of what I'm doing. Okay. I don't round it from left to down. I go left, center, down. Is that scrolling distracting? Like, no, I, I didn't even notice it till you pointed it out. The scrolling on the sides, you don't really notice it. It's a nice effect, though. Um, yeah, I don't see nope. anything oh, about disabling the screensaver. I think that's up to the developer to make sure screensavers aren't enabled on the 5200 while you're playing or it's like it should detect a joystick movement as a disable of the screensaver run <laughs> if you cross your eyes you see a sailboat oh i see a unicorn i guess everybody sees what uh what they want to see uh we've only played this game itc uh we're getting better <laughs> slowly yeah. our goal is to finish one set of screens what tandy did it Get ready. Get ready. Oh, this one's full of Oh, swamp. wow. Ah! Oh, there's four Where guys. Am I? Where am I? Oh, my goodness. I thought I was the, the, the dot in the middle. <laughs> I'm not moving. My I'm mouth like, is closed. Ah! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, boy. There's big empty spaces. Two fast ones. Oh, my God. Run! No, I'm trying to. Let's see what's down here. So we're oh playing boy. on the 5200 no, today. Down. Oh, and the, and the big dots make a different sound. Oh, we just messed up. Oh, oh, oh. It's hard. Hard. Ah, hard I cannot, I cannot control things at all. At all. It that's, just catches constantly. That's why you have a special four-way joystick. <sighs> Unfortunately, we can't I? plug it in to the 5200. Can we? I, I might have an attachment. See? Oh, my gosh. It's so frustrating. Because oh, you just continually... Catch. You continually stop moving. Yeah. That is nice. I do not enjoy that. Especially on corners. Ooh, those are I don't know how I got difficult corners. He decided to not pursue you. Thank goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh you killed no! yourself! I thought it was cleared. New, new. New <laughs> ice score. <laughs> Beat that. Six, I'll try. Seven, three. I'll try. <laughs> I can see the images in stereograms, <laughs> but they are invented in that they don't mm. pop out for me, but fall into picture and therefore a little harder to make out full details from. Mm. Uh, I found if you animate the noise in a video versus still, those auto stereograms are actually easier to see. Really? Oh. Sailboat? How do, you, how do you do? They're being silly. 
about the stuff on the side. You missed the whole conversation. Well, I heard you talk yeah. about the sailboat and the unicorn, but... Um, <laughs> interesting. How are you with stereograms? Stereograms? Is that when things pop out of... Like, the... the, the they used to have, like, um, 3D. dinosaurs, 3D... At the, the mall. The 3D eye, <laughs> the 3D eye. Oh, my yeah. God. What an era, eh? Like, going to the mall and staring at posters, <laughs> trying to get things, like, with your eyes crossed. So silly. Like, <laughs> like in hindsight, what ridiculous people were we? Um, uh, well, lenticular things were all the rage at one point. I love lenticular. Do everything. you? Oh, they're so cheesy. Oh, I love them. As a child, I had the lenticular. My One of my rulers had that. Where oh. you would... You ah! Would, you art would, mode! How do I... How do... I don't know how. How do you escape? You cannot. Maybe really? ITC will know. No, there's got to be a way you, you can... ITC, how Can't, do you get what out if of... You just, what if I just punch all the buttons? Well, then you would buy me a new joystick. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, smack. ITC, how do you get out of screensaver on a 5200 when the developer has not programmed it correctly? Damn it. It's so hard. There's no pause. They did not program a pause. Pressing so all the buttons. The joke is on you. Apparently. Yeah. All the buttons. <laughs> no programmed pause. Is there anything left on this? No. Hi. Are you waiting for treats? Are these these cats really? Well, one cat really wants treat time. The other one is high on catnip. So. So I'm supposed to finish this now. game on hard yeah. mode. Come on, come on. Oh, well, good. you just have a time limit, and <laughs> says Metal Hunter. Pretty much. They did no, 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 no. To the yes. Cat? It is not couch no. compliant. Well, then I would report that as a bug. It's not a bug. It's a. Feature. That's true. I should. Um, it's ah, a feature. It's a feature. It's a timeout. Yeah. No, it is not a feature. This one is not helpful at all. At least I got rid of the fast guy. It just becomes hard mode after uh, after X minutes. I don't know what the default uh, screensaver timeout is on the 8 bit. Whatever it is, we just hit it. Seems like t 10 minutes? Rodman CC edition. <laughs> okay, I've got three now. Got out. I don't know if they um, cross over to the next level with the what? bombs. Yeah, Probably they do. Not. They do. Do they? Yep, yeah, you have all the Where same bombs. Yep. Yeah. Um, not. I don't think. Like no, I mean, set of screens to set that's, of screens. That's what I mean. No, I think you start. I I think you start over. I don't think those carry over. We'll have to check. I thought I laid a bomb. No. Ah, I got wasted it. Don't get killed. <gasps> oh. I, I, killed. I know. It's so easy to I kill. I really yourself. want to get rid of that fast guy. Oh, that's terrible. Very naughty. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> oh, oh, so close. That's the best practice: is to put them at the four-way yeah. crossings. Got to save your CRT from burning. Yeah. Were, were CRTs really? I guess they were prone to burning. Oh yeah. Um, I, I I always think of plasma screens, like like flat screens, being Everything. more prone to it. But all no, the CRTs These have were burn bad. In too. You These always think LCDs. of like um, uh, ca video um cameras, security cameras. Oh yeah. Were oh, terrible. Damn it. Yeah, because they looked at the same thing over and. Yeah. Over and over, and I did it on hard mode. So, man. This is hard mode. <laughs> Look at it. Can you play with like this? This is nightmare mode. Oh, this mode. <laughs> I thought I you could... meant there was an actually actually a hard mode. That this you, you this picked. is this. No, I didn't pick it. It was forced upon me. I don't like it. <laughs> yes, two and one. Oh, just one. One's fine. Now I wanted a fast one. There's two fast guys. In this. LCDs will burn in two. Yeah, I know yep. they all will. I think everything was it plasmas that plasmas were particularly was, bad. Yeah, they they were touted as being. Oh, that's not good. Anyway. Uh, is there an exit in the bottom, or am I at the bottom? You're at the bottom. I want to get one of these fast guys. Come on down. Oh, they're chicken. They know. Oh, they can't get by. They can't eat the. Uh... The bomb. <gasps> I don't have any. Oh, I was. Oh, God. Do you need that bomb? I do. There you go. Now you have a bomb. Wait for it. Oh, you. Oh, you didn't get them all. I know. I'm... There's problems. <laughs> There's too many things. There are problems. There are problems. My baby kitten. I really want to pet you. Can I pick you up? Is he floppy? Oh, he's floppy. Is he warm and floppy? Oh. 
You warm floppy cat? Yeah. Uh, Did you have a rough day? It, it was been so very much. exciting and go up, go up, go up. stressful. Oh, come on! Oh. oh. Did you have a stressful day? Lots of anxiety? Unsure of the vets? <laughs> They're very nice vets. White coat anxiety. Oh, baby. So cute. He's very sleepy. <laughs> very sleepy. That Had catnip cat put him right to sleep. Had some catnip and he's, knocked he's him out. He's ready for bed. <laughs> oh. oh, sweetie. Go up. Someone. Wanna go up? Oh! No! Oh my god. Okay. Let's get to the top screen now. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this. I thought controller ratings were enough to prevent the screensaver from kicking in, though, says I ITC. I think it's all up to the developer. <gasps> oh, dead. One life left. Oh my goodness. I've played I've played a lot of games on the 8-bit while playing the screensaver is kicked in and then I tell the developer and they fix it. Mm. Oh, I'm not in the spot. Oh, here. Damn it. Game oh. over. There we go. Yeah. ITC says uh, digital worth analog? I don't my, my LCD on my computer at work has permanent burn-in outlines of my email window. Uh, that is always open along with the other side having a border of the incoming call queue. Wow. <laughs> my yeah, you always have the email same. burns in my screen too. Really? Yeah, because I keep it up in the same spot because I it's keep true. monitoring oh, my email. Yes. Oh, good timing. Oh, yay. That woke up this little guy, Sid. Like, I'll wake up for that. Is ready. Where are the treats? Oh, they're in the bedroom if you want to grab them. Bedroom? Why are they in the bedroom? Oh, because we had somebody stay over. Oh, that's why. And I had to lure them out. Lure, lure those cats out. In the closet. On the shelf on the right. It's cat treat time. Let's start up the bats. I have no idea where you're... On my side? In your Yes. <laughs> They're hidden. They're camouflaged. They're green. They're green. Well, I'd hide them from the cats so they could sniff it out. Okay, we've got two cats here. We've got cat two? Sid, who has just been to the vet. And we've got Atari, who's... Come on! Oh, you silly cat. Oh. <laughs> he runs outside. This is a habit because he gets his treats stolen. Yeah, he runs, he runs so he outside. he grabs it treats. in his mouth and runs out. So, uh, place nice. your bets. We've got Sid with three plus points, Sid with one and two points, Atari with one and two points, and Atari with three points. Sid is Sid is very good at this game if you <laughs> yes. haven't uh, been around yep. in a he, little bit. He picked it up really quick. And But he does get distracted. Yes. Um, he has been winning a lot of three pluses, but sometimes it's one and two, and sometimes he plays very poorly. Yeah, And Atari sure. just kicked his ass one day. Yeah. Um, so it's a wild card. Up against Atari. Oh, oh sweet kid. It is a wild card, so. Yeah. Put your bets in. Yep. Oh, he's laying down. Oh, is that a sign? Or is Sid being patient? Or is he confident? He's like, I'm just going to lay down before before the games yeah, begin. Yeah, he's resting up. He yeah. knows what's Showing ahead of him. Showing a lot of confidence. Don't have all the bets covered. No. Somebody waiting at the last second. Yeah. We've got 30 seconds left. There's still a Sid 3+, plus, which is... A very good bet. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of a lot of bets down. In case of the tie, the house takes all. There's never a tie never because a tie. it's the first to ten. Yeah, so somebody's going to Someone gets ring. their first. Oh, yeah. we've got all the bets covered. We've never had a tie where they both hit it at exactly the same time. That would be a true tie if they were both 9-9 nine, nine and they both went ding, ding and we couldn't audibly tell the difference. I would have to actually take the audio into an audio processing <laughs> program and look at the frequencies and see which frequency hit first and i would be able to do that because these bells if you listen are a tiny bit different yes that's true which is actually very beneficial for ties yeah but the chance of a tie is next to nothing okay cats are you ready are we've you got ready? all the um spread covered here so yes. someone is gonna win somebody's gonna win Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Our cats, are you, are you ready? ready? Here we go. You are. Okay, and go. 
Sid's, Sid's off to starts. the races. And there's a Tari close behind. Tari's off to the races. It's 1-1. One, one. The cats are the <laughs> cats are in the cage and they're off. Oh, oh, Tari tried to ring. Oh, and Sid, Sid got showed it. Showed him how to do it. You gotta ring it. Oh, you said I was kicking it. You have to ring it. Ring it. Somebody. Ring Atari. the bell. Ring the bell. Atari. Get oh, your head in the game. Sid. Atari. Sid is 3 1. Atari, here. There you go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And he kicked it across the room. Oh, Atari's <laughs> Sid, having trouble Sid today. Sid is 4 2. We're still within the margin of 2. Oh, you didn't give one to Sid. I, you just rang it. Again. I did. No, I, I did. He, I, uh, did, I did give it to him. Okay, you just rang it. He ate it. Oh, my God. Okay, it's 5 then. Yep. Okay. Uh, Atari is Sid is five three six three. Go. go Atari Polygox says. Oh, he's so Sid. fast. I don't think he's chewing. There oh, it's a soft one, oh, but he got goodness. it in. Oh no. Atari smacks it around the room. I know he oh, does. He got it. Sid's having there trouble, go. but Sid? he got it. He's eight four. He's leading by four. <sighs> Sid thinks only the pink bells to be used. Well, he sees Atari ringing it, I think. Oh, it's 9-5. It's a game point. Sid is destroying today. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Five whiskers. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I was not expecting that. That was... Atari was struggling a bit in hitting that bell in the beginning. Utter destruction. Oh, Atari. I'm open the door. Atari. It's really hot today. It is hot today. Oh, oh we might have to... Uh, <laughs> add in some, add in some bigger margins for Sid. He has won by five points once before. Sid, you're a good kitty, but you're too good. You're too good. You're a little baby. How did you learn so fast? Huh? How did you? Yikes! Twice in a row, I've lost quite a bit of bits. Oh, quite no. a bit of bits for Ivory Tower. Let's hand them out and see who won. I think Is it somebody... second beer time? Am I going to be able to keep playing games? I don't have any water either. Can you grab? Yep. Do you want some water with ice? Just water, please. Just water. Okay. So, Gamma Dev and Chitlet Law split the big pot of 21,000 points. Oh, my goodness. Kitty Uppers helped. Apparently, I put him to sleep, gave him a good rest, maybe. And then he came back renewed, full of energy, full of kitten energy. And he just smacking that bell right to 10. Double the number of rings. I didn't even see him. Like he inhaled one of them it's so fast that I thought it was the same ring. I didn't even see him eat that one. Okay, so let's go to the next game. And it is... Da, 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 Beef Drop by Ken Siders. Known as Ken Fused on... The Atari Age forums. This first, this is an older game for the tw for the 5200. This was first posted in on April 1st, 2004. Um, the build we're going to be playing was distributed with the Atari Max cart. That's the multi cart that we're using to play all these games on. Uh, it takes SD cards. It works really well. It's a 32k game. Uh, Ken Siders also made a uh, bonk. Uh, which is Qbert for the 7800. Um, Beef Drop is made for the 7800, and 8 bits. He covered covered all three there. He also made Block Drop for the 7800, uh, Burger Boy for the Atari 8 bit, Circle of Richness for Atari 8 bit, uh, The Fish Adventures of Mr. Fish for the Atari 8 bit, and Pac Munch Jr. for the Atari 8 bit. So, this a demo of this game is available uh, on the Atari Age forums. Uh, Unfortunately, Bonk and Beef Drop were removed from Atari Age uh, in the last chance sale. We did play the 7800 version, but that was like three years ago. So that was quite a while ago. Um, the last time Ken was in the forums was 2017. So he hasn't been there for seven years. In so the I forums. I think he's oh. pretty much gone from the forums. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. So this is, this is kind of funny. Let me open the link for this one and show you how this started. Um, so he posted March 31st, 2004, mm -hmm. uh, which I think would might be a time zone issue. 
Um, I received this a few days ago from a friend in the mail. Does anyone have any idea what company person may have may, may have created it? It was in a normal it was in a normal but unlabeled 5200 housing that was a little broken. I'll try to get it ripped into a final file soon when I get my EEPROM programmer hooked up. Burger time. And it said burger time nice. 1983 5200. Um, so as it goes on it's actually an April Fool's joke. Ah, uh, fair enough. Uh, you did post it March 31st. What time? There you go, 10, March 31st. 4, 10, 10.14 p.m. on Eastern time. That would be April 1st. There you go. Um, but then he actually posted a binary of it, Think, and it was a, like a broken binary, mm. which he just made it broken, and then somebody fixed the binary, and they played a little game for a while, and it was very convincing. Oh, really? Like, like people got duped into this because i think a, a number of people were in on it and playing along which made it uh, feel that way like it was actually a real binary a real chip that somebody found uh, but lots of fun and then then it eventually revealed that oh yes I, this is a new game that i'm making mm -hmm. so that's what we're going to play and i believe i did go through all of that when we played the 7800 mm -hmm. version Ivory Tower Collections. I don't own this one physically on the 5200 as it comes included with the Atari Max and that's how I played it. And that's what the version we're going to play as well because it came with my Atari Max mm. as well. So I uh, don't think this one is a screensaver. So I think we might be good on this one. Let's switch it when the go joke goes too far. Yeah, uh, that's a great joke. It doesn't hurt anyone. Yeah. It doesn't make anybody mad. It actually makes everybody happy when it's actually revealed to be a new game. All right. So go for it. I'll change the graphic art. Yeah, I was going to say. There we go. Yep. Ooh. Ah! Oh, here, here, here. I was playing with the... Uh... Sensitivity? Yeah. Okay, should be good. Because somebody said, oh, if you move, if you had an analog, jo um, analog mm -hmm. joystick. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Well, look. He was chewing on it. Yes, you, cat. <laughs> He's chewing on the cable. Watch that cat. Get, get away. Um, but it didn't work. I fiddled with the analog and it didn't kick it out of screensaver. Get, get. So let's load it up. There you go. Atari Age presents Beef Drop. <laughs> 2005 Ken Siders. So um, with the star, it changes the difficulty. Hard, expert, child, easy. Mm -hmm. There you go. And we don't need to change the one uh, player because it can one do stick. one player, one stick, two player, one stick, two player, mm. two stick. Okay. So you don't have to switch back and forth. But we'll just play one player at a time. Nice. Your adversaries: Frank, Mr. Yoke, Doctor Dill. Doctor Dill. Doctor Dill. He has a. He has a doctorate in something. A doctorate in in sourness, maybe. Doctorate in sandwich making. Doctor, doctor <laughs> in, in vinegar. Yeah. Doctor in vinegar. Yes, he uh, he uh, experiments with um, basics and uh, nice. and uh, oh, so you have to go back to the menu. How? Press something. Those buttons probably. Probably the ones, the star. Let's try both buttons. You're stuck here. Nope, oh, we're back. Okay. Two player, two sticks. There. Now uh, press the button to start. Uh, a, probably. I think A is start. There you go. Yep. Again, creepiest commercials ever. <laughs> People in large suits of eggs and Always. sausages oh. and Five peppers. I always forget about the peppers. Yep. Which one is the pepper? Uh, just the first, the red button. He didn't go to Brine Graduate School to be called Mr. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good one, Gemma. <laughs> Esmer says he has 5200 beef drop on his Atari Max 2. I also have the 7800 cart. Oh, very good. Carl G. Yay, child mode for players with my skill level. Yeah, this game, I need child mode. Really? We got pretty good at this. We played multiple I, you're, versions. You're better at, at it than I am, for sure. I'm, it, I am I certainly I'm got better. Now. 
Um, I was not very good at it before. The thing, once you learn the way the, the enemies move, they always go up like this toward you. They take a take it over, then they go up, then they take it over, and then they go up. So that egg was never coming towards you because he had to go up because he went to the side before that. Oh, you got the another pepper. Good. So wait, wait. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's always better with the burger top. Love the Asteroids tie-dye shirt. Oh, yes. It is that was my like favorite. Two years ago, PRG? Yes. Um, we saw it at the table instantly. Pepper! Ah! Oh, my God. Instantly bought it. Yeah. It's I was like, so that is cool. amazing. I've never seen it since. Like, no. whoever sold it. Same display. They didn't They didn't have it. Did they, that same display exist? Uh, I have no idea if the know. same people were there. Because there's lots of t-shirt people. Yeah. Um... I was tempted by the Vectrex ones, but they're not quite exactly what I want. They're, they have some nice ones with, like, silver, reflective silver on them with the grid for the Vectrex, but it's like... Yeah. Get that pepper. Pepper ice cream. There is pepper ice cream, isn't there? Oh, nope, it's coming. Is it pepper ice cream? There's so many different ice creams. Oh, they make ice cream out of everything. Yep. I think there's marmite ice cream. <laughs> That'd be terrible. It'd be very salty. Maybe you'd like it. Very umami and very salty. I don't think umami works well with ice cream. Not good. Uh, okay, I'll fix it. Thank you. Um, Recently, one of our local ice cream parlors good. had key lime ice cream. You say good if it's good now. Key, key lime, lime. Oh. Key lime pie, I should say, ice cream. Absolutely. Oh Did gosh. I try it? Yes, it was fantastic. I'm not the biggest coconut fan. No. But I love me some but key lime pie. But it worked with it. So it worked with oh, it. Oh yeah, because yeah. Because it's supposed to be there. So yeah, I have to say I cannot. Out of there. Run for it. Run for the hills. Garlic ice cream. I've heard of that too. Is it good? Do you like it? I don't know how I feel about garlic ice cream. <laughs> yep. We don't need it. You're going back to the vet. Well, you are eventually. Not today. But if you start chewing on cables, you're going back to the vet. And they're going to try and find out what's wrong with you. Cable chewer. Yeah, well, it's actually Atari's a cable chewer. Sid is a chewer of uh, Velcro. Loves Velcro. Must be the t the rough texture. Cats do like rough textures. You know how to play. I'm okay, but <laughs> I, they scare me. They do. Well, what level are you playing? Normal. Right? Yeah. Uh, easy. Easy. Oh. Not, not like child. Not child, but easy. Okay. They have rules they have to follow. Oh, this is not the hard level, though. Hard level's like, there is one way in and one way out. And you're in trouble if you don't plan it right. Come towards that way. No. Oh. I thought I was going to get past them. No. Bacon. Dill pickle. I can see liking dill pickle. Dill pickle ice, ice cream? cream? Yeah, I think it can work. I mean, creamy cucumber is one of my favorite salad dressings, so... Oh, that's creamy cucumber. cucumber. I do like that. One more to go. My pepper dogs, I was no, you're always too scared to use it for some reason. I don't know. I heard that too, Cap. I heard that. Yeah, whoops. That. Go investigate. Go. Kitten, go. No, he doesn't care. <laughs> Bacon donuts a few months ago. Yuck, Mr. Oh, Man says. Uh, I have had... Um, uh, maple bacon is a big maple bacon donuts and things. How's that? It's okay. Oh yeah. Oh, what was that? Got a, a 
another pepper. Ten peppers. Oh, you just pressed it twice, by the way. Oh, no! Yes, really? I heard you press it twice. I didn't mean to. You can't go to 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 because you'll use up all your peppers. I didn't realize. You should start waiting. See? No, I'm not listening. <laughs> They're so funny sometimes. Oh, you're gonna get a huge bonus if you get them all together. Because it's the game is much faster when you get them to ride down the burger because it goes doop, 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 all the way down. But only do it with the tops. Not much point. Otherwise. Is that like a sausage? Or is it a hot dog? Uh, the, the thing chasing you? is a sausage, which doesn't make much sense. But the thing on the burger is a burger. Um, I swear, in the arcade, is it a sausage? Yeah, it's a sausage in the arcade. It doesn't make any sense. Why didn't they make a round burger chasing you? Hmm. I guess, I guess a sausage is funnier, because it does go wobble, wobble, wobble head. It's just visually funnier. I mean, games in the 80s were nonsensical and insane. None of them made any sense. That you can do. Wait, wait for it and get at least two, if not all three. Ooh, two. Not bad. I will take it. Yep. It gets rid of them for a while, too. Crypto Coffee's on a three-stream streak! Excellent! Yeah, umami and sweet don't really mix well. Like bacon. I Can don't, you think I of don't, an umami flavor I mean, that... Maple bacon isn't so horrible. You it twice again. I did? Yeah, I swear you did. I heard it twice. It went down to seven peppers. Is that the last one? No. No, it's one way down there. Now you can finish it off. One of our cat nostalgic says one of our cats really likes chewing on packaging tape and lint rollers. That is funny. Lint rollers. <laughs> I can see packaging tape because it's crunchy. Like lots of cats like those crunchy balls that are made of you know, really noisy material. Um, these cats love those too. They love springs as well. I think those are their favorite. Spring is their number, actually their number one. I don't know if anybody knows this toy. It's called a magic dancer. Is that what it's called? Oh yeah. And it's a wire, and on the end, like a, about a two foot long wire, and on the end, there's just like rolled up things of cardboard. Like three or four rolls of cardboard, like little tiny ones, just all stacked on top of each other. And you can hang it from things, and they're meant to jump up and bat it, or you can hold it in your hand and... Six stages? This is so, so chaos -y. There's a lot of guys. Oh, I got him! Nice. Yeah, a lot of chaos. Um, but Atari used to jump up for it. Now he doesn't. But he goes nuts when you move it around on the floor. It goes absolutely insane. Um, and so does Sid. They both love that. I think, and in second place, I would say is springs. Just plastic springs. Yeah. They love them. They're noisy. They roll. They bounce. Uh, they've got everything going for them. They cost absolutely nothing to buy. They're so cheap. The cats love them. Nice. Um, beyond that, like crinkly things. They do like crinkly toys. You have to pepper that again. Oh, you go, go down on it. Oh, no. It wasn't quite on it, it looks like. I get them on the top bun. Yeah. Uh, I think you have to play harder. I'm not. Harder level. Not <laughs> You're yet. doing just fine. Not you have yet. four lives. That means I have to play a really hard level. Ooh, Those 
Those are big burgers. Double meat burgers. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, I didn't go over there. If you wait before you go up, you'll go across. Yes, and I And miss know. the ladder. So you can direct. It's one of those games where you can control the enemies. Oh, oh. no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> See, this game is fine with the controls, right? And it's a four-way game. So I think just the other game has has some issues. Oh yeah, no, the controls are a little more yeah. for sure. But uh, I don't think the guy's actively developing it anymore, so... Oh my god, yeah, I think you used oh. a lot of pepper there. Maybe. No, no, I only no? have two. Yeah. Oh, okay. The thing in this game is when you die, you don't get more pepper again. <laughs> you can still be on zero pepper. It doesn't renew your pepper. So on the hard levels, when you run out of lives, or you when you run out of pepper, it's... It's it's difficult. It's really hard. There's no saving you anymore. Yeah, like this is this yeah, is you're insane. In big trouble. No, they're all ganging up and they start doing the same things. Oh there you go. Get all three. Nice! Go. Stop stop stopping! Stop stopping! Stop stopping! Oh you didn't wait. Last pepper. Got a pepper. I'll go right to the top. Straight to the top. Come on, pepper. <laughs> Isn't resurrected from the afterlife enough? You want pepper too? That's true. That is true. Oh, ooh, just in time. You should have waited on that ladder, but you're still on the ladder when he. Uh... So he went up. There you go. Ooh, those look like good burgers. Those are stacked. Huge lentil burgers, says Polygox. <laughs> That's right. Correct. You know it. Lentil burgers. Do they, have you ever had a lentil burger? Yep. Yeah. Are they okay? Yeah. I like, I like lentils. We don't have lentil burgers for health. No. Like, I guess they're, they're close to, like, garden burgers. Yeah. They're similar. A lot of visible veggies. <laughs> As long as they stay, as long as the burger kind of stays together, I find a lot of with the garden burgers or veggie, veggie patties, I guess, ones with visible things in them, um, they mush. They just turn to mush. They don't cook well. They're either mush or they're burnt. And there's nothing in between. So they don't hold together well. Nice. Three peppers now. Careful! No, no, you're you're skirting his legs. I don't know where the um, oh. the hitbox is. But apparently, it's not. It's not exactly. There's some leeway. Oh, oh no! no! You could have got two for one. It's a good thing they don't turn around. Like in the higher levels, like oh, this guy. One pepper, he's a wisely. I had to. Yeah. I had to. Carl G says, I hate when veggie burgers are too squishy. They just fall out. I don't like squishy veggie burgers. Um, and so back in my university days, our, we had a crappy cafeteria, but they would have this grain burger that was deep fried. Yeah. Um, grain burger. Grains, and it had mushrooms, which okay. I know you're not a big fan of mushrooms, but it was like yeah. mushrooms and... Pepper. Ooh, smart. Okay. I didn't see that. Uh, mushrooms and grains. Okay. Was it all kind of ground up or? Yeah, Ooh, the hitbox is fairly small. No, I don't want to go good. that way. Ooh, nice. Got the pepper. Oh. Okay, I've got zero. Careful now. Careful. Get that. Get those fries. Nice. No, get the fries. Keep the fries. No! Oh, no! Pepper's so essential in this game, especially on the higher levels. Yeah. Oh, no! You should have waited. Oh, okay. There you go. Run, run, run. Oh, 
Oh boy, yeah. Careful timing. Don't do it yet. Oh no, you have zero pepper! Oh no. Didn't wait long enough. So you're in level six. It's like he's tickling you. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. It's a non violent game. They're just made into burgers. Nobody's eating the burgers. They escape afterward. It's okay. Damn it. Ugh. Nostalgic says, I'm trying to figure out how the game chooses when to flicker. Is it three objects in the same line? I think each sprite has two colors. So it could be on the same line. Yeah, when I was previewing this, I was wondering that too. It's like, how does it know when to flicker? So that's two objects in the same line. I'll have to watch when they start. Oh, that one flickered. It was on the only on the same line with an egg. Hmm. It must be ones with the same color. Oh, two sausages flicker together. Pepper. There's no way I'd get all four of them, so... Yep. Boo! Just gonna... <laughs> yeah, crank you run your... out of pepper and that's it. You're dead. Crank through your lives right now. Very, very clearly McDonald's fries. <laughs> this has got the U shape to them. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how such a low resolution you can still recognize exactly what they're trying to go for. This level, this is a very difficult level because there's so many dead ends. Ooh, you can get a super big burger. Wait, no. Oh, no, it didn't go all the way down. No, it can't because there's nothing beneath That's it. That's right. I'm so dead. You have one know. pepper. No, you did way too early. Oh, no. Oh, you escaped. Good job. Now you can make a big burger. Okay. Try to stay alive. <laughs> yeah. Make to the left. There you go. Uh, nice. You got it. You got it. Yeah, this is the deadly level. It's all about leading them. Yep. Leading them. And then... oh. <laughs> One more. Yay! Yay! I didn't think I was going to survive that level. It's a good version. It is a good game. version. Really oh, I'm, good. I've wrapped around to the beginning. Do you want to keep playing? Uh, for well, me? I want to play difficult. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> you so can there. reset it because it's the same level over again. Um, I'm not going for high school. I'll just have to die. No. No, none of the buttons reset. I have to die. Come on, burgers. Come on, little sausages. <laughs> He's kicking his legs. Oh, the grain burgers were so good. Sorry, we were talking oh, about yeah, veggie burgers. Oh, yeah, you didn't finish your uh, grain. No. They were Burger so story. there was not there was not very good food in my cafeteria. Yeah. Um what kind of there stuff? were two things that stood out. Well, a few more than two things, but I would I would tend they had a salad bar. Okay. So I'd eat from the salad bar. Because you can make whatever you they wanted. They had decent bagels. Okay. So that's I frequently very good. had salad and bagels. And they had two dishes. Everything else was god awful. They had Captain Crunch chicken fingers. They were breaded in Captain Crunch. I have never seen them before or since what the? university. Oh, it's below. Okay. So oh. Rub always makes me laugh. Yeah. That. Rub it out. Like Rub a, it with a eraser. Um. Uh. Captain Crunch chicken fingers, absolutely delicious. Captain Crunch. The best chicken, chicken fingers I have ever had. Wow. And they had these gr these mushroom grain veggie burgers that were they deep fried them. Oh. And they were they were still kind of squishy in the middle, but they were so probably because they were deep fried. They were del they were so good. Expert. Yeah. Colleges must have some special bulk deal with Captain Crunch. 
They were so yeah, good. No kidding. Huh. They were delicious. Because it had a bit of sweetness. It to was, it? I guess, oh, I, so a fast. tiny bit of sweetness. Oh, oh, oh no, no. good luck. This is, good luck to you. This is just death. Um, this is death. Oh my god. Oh, death, no. thy name is Mr. Yoke. Yes, this uh, is very, very bad. Dr. Dill! Dr. Death Dill. Ooh, ah. that was good. Well, yeah, I kind of have to do that. Oh, oh you're no. dead. Pepper. Um. Oh, I gotta get into those if anyone ever sees Captain Crunch Chicken Fingers, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> uh, not James's favorite, but still. <laughs> well, if they're veggie. If they're they're, they're not. They're not. Chicken. Well, to be honest, uh, you probably could come up with the same breading. Oh they yeah. They were so good. Just and it was like I guess they were like crunched up, so oh, they were kind of chunkier. You know, the breading did uh, chunky bits in them. Fast. Yeah. The same speed as me, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, about the same speed as me. My college had three cereals to choose from, and the other two would always. Uh, but Captain Crunch was was the one constant. Yeah, would always vary, but they always had Captain Crunch. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. There must have been. Um, they used to recycle food. I've told you this story, oh. right? Well, that's they kind have of a some given, kind almost. of like. The thing goes in the thing, and then we make a thing the next time. You would have like, um, like rice, vegetables, and like chicken, and then the next day you would have like veggie rice, right. and then the day after that you would have vegetable ah. rice soup. <laughs> and it was like they were taking the stuff that wouldn't get eaten, and they were just just wrapping it in. Reusing into... it. So like by day three, like. And and there was ah. it was a joke. It's like whatever you do, don't eat the soup because <laughs> it's just day five, three no. three day old food all the time. Um, I mean I mean they were being very um, frugal, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, and and but it's just I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know how I did that. Good I job, did. that was excellent. Chicken and rice soup, yes. Chicken and rice soup, ah. veggie soup. Uh, <laughs> Then wraps with everything in it. No, there were no wraps. <laughs> no wraps? Oh. But they did have, and again, all this processed food is not good for anyone, as we now know. I pressed it. Oh, I have no pepper. Oh, oh no. no. I'm dead. Um, uh, they is... would have branded, like, cakes. So they would have, like, a score cake and a Mars bar oh. cake, and it would have, like, crunched up bits of the chocolate bars in oh, them. Dude. They would have, like, a... Oh, wow peanut butter cupcake. Oh my goodness. Um, that sounds and good. And they were delicious, but like, you know, like 700 calories or something. You know what I mean? Like, it, yeah. It, 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 they were, they were very good, but it was just way too much for, you know, I suppose if you were at like on, on athletics or something and you needed to eat a lot of calories, maybe you'd have the cakes all the time. They were very oh, good no. though. Oh, they were I'm very, so very tasty. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is for experts. Yeah. Uh, considering some of the things students will eat two day old rice is probably not so bad. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. Leftovers from the concession stands at the sports stadiums. Maybe. Ooh, <laughs> maybe. No. Okay, so that is beef drop. Really good. Really good version. Mm. So if you want to try a good version for the uh, 5200 or even 8-bit because he made it for 8-bit and 7800 mm -hmm. um, there is a great version excellent of, excellent game uh, excellent game yep yeah. so on to our last game of the day don't load it yet just getting it lined up um, because it is a port and I want to show you what the port is from uh, it is from a game called Vlack um, for let's make this big for the PC, actually. Down a bit, in case it's blasting. Uh, let me get to my notes here. Do, do, do. Load, 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 while well, you guys watch. Oh, let me move off that. I am not a high school teacher. <laughs> I will not keep my mouse on the timeline throughout the whole video. Oh my God. In presentations or anything, people keep their mouse on the bottom. Yeah. Warning! Oh. Warning! The tree uh -oh. ball is loose. The tree ball is loose. Kids, yeah. tree ball. Sid's not. Sid, Sid is, is passed out. 
He's had a rough day. He has it is so a rough, much excitement. Rough day. For Thank Sid. you, Gamma Dev. It is kind of snake-like. Mm -hmm. So this is. Like snake. Um. So the original. Let's see. Train is a port of the of the Vlack game for the IBM PC from 1993, created by Miroslav and Nemeshek. I am pronouncing that incorrectly. But there it is. So. Oh, I don't. Oh, damn it. Don't have. Let me look. And so this was made for the Atari 8 bit first. Let me read out the instructions. The game! You are a cargo train driver, and your mission is to collect and load all the items on the screen. And I'll switch to the cats. Switch to the cats. Sid has just woken up. Sid? 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 Sir? Sir, sir, please, sir, sir, w wake up. That's there you go. You. Um, Can you see? Yep. Should I put both in the in the thing? Um, sure. Okay. So will for you every... both go. It's for you. It's for you. Right here. Right here. Right there. Like, look. Look. Okay. Madame, there. stop it. <laughs> madame. Madame. Sid with that. Um, during the run, you must not collide with any obstacles or with the cars of your own train. When you load all the items, the gate opens and you can proceed to the next screen. Yeah. To win the game, you must finish all fifty screens. You also play for a high score. They begin the game with three lives. For each item collected and loaded, you are given 10 points. If you finish the screen, you're awarded 200 points for every remaining life. If you lose a life, 300 points is deducted from your score. Wow. Not only lose a life... You get a chunk taken off. You get your score taken down. Nice. You get a new life for, even for each 5,000 points. The game ends when you lose all lives. A new game can begin from any screen you have already reached. Okay, so let's... Oh, you guys can't see that. That's okay. You're listening to it. You got the idea. You saw the graphics. You heard the noises. Um, so let's go to the 5200 and play that. Yay! If you want to load up train one, two, three, yeah. and we'll start with train one. I think they had to divide it into separate games because... <gasps> I hit two. Sorry. Doesn't matter. No? It doesn't matter. I... <laughs> Calm, calm yourself. We don't even see the title screen. She's button happy. No, no. Today's it's, date. Just, oh, oh, no, it's just jumpy. Back. It's jumpy. Is it? Yes. Let me see. No, no. Because I can calibrate it. It's you. It's just, it was just being jumpy. Too much. Too much wine. It is. It is a lot of wine. <laughs> it's all right. Lot. Open source edition 1.3 train. So there's start game, there's game speed, and there's joystick dead help, zone. Help, help, help. Something's wrong oh, with sorry. the ZPH stream. Thank you, Gamma Dev. Turn down the volume a little bit. Test, test, test. Okay. So we have a joystick dead zone because it's a 5200 uh, game, so go down there. And for you, I would probably put it up on large. Press button. Oh. Nope. Nope. Yeah. What is that? Joystick dead zone? Because it's an analog joystick. Oh. This is left. This is right. This is in the center. Okay. And it's how much dead zone there is before it actually registers. Oh, actually, I go see. back to medium. It's probably fine on the default. I would go normal. Normal. Maybe. There you go. Okay. Start the game. No. There we go. Start the game. So did you listen to the instructions? Uh, no, but I think I get the gist of it. <laughs> okay, it's snake. But you have to collect the things on the screen. And don't run into yourself. Just like snake. Except in snake, usually you collect one thing at a time. This has all the things on the screen all at once. Yeah, very nice uh, tune at the beginning. Very, very nice. So let's see who made this game. What? I didn't turn twice? What the hell was that about? Did I lose time? Um, uh, no, it's no time. It's infinite time. Um, so this is made by Baja Software. Uh, mm, I didn't get the pronunciations of these names, so I apologize. Me, me, me what's happening? Try moving around without collecting things and see if you're having trouble with your joystick. No, I think I'm just doing it too late or okay. too early. Yeah, because it is tile-based, you have to... Hold it. You have to hold the joystick. hold it. 
or don't do it too early, don't do it too late. Don't do it before you Or get don't accidentally hit it twice, because if you that. accidentally hit it twice, you, you fall oh. onto yourself. If you hit right twice, it'll kill you? That doesn't make sense. Uh, Michael Kalus, Bactra, Michael. and Peter Postava, Hardcore. And it's a 32k game. Each part is 32. So I'm guessing they had to split up... Are you pressing left? No! Why did it go right? I hit left. I is didn't it, hit right. Is the joystick bouncing? Because sometimes on some joysticks, the springs... I don't think it's bouncing. I think you have to be very precise when you hit it. Because you heard me hit the joystick. Yeah. But um, what what game was it? There's one game where I was pressing left, but I let go of the joystick, and it went all the way back to right. I'm just hitting it too fast. I'm not timing it properly. It's nothing to do with the joystick. Oh, okay. It's just very precise. Uh, so on November 20th, 2020, posting about the 5200 version, I've started working... What is going on, Kat? Did you lose your ball? If you, oh, if you hold it for too long, it'll turn twice. And so I've killed myself multiple times. Hold it? Really? Oh, that's weird. Like, if you hold it, it left, around? it'll turn around. Because I've killed myself just standing still. Oh, because I just probably held it a little too long on the turn. Mm. So far, it seems the only victim will be the in-game music. So they did have in-game music on other systems on the Atari 8-bit. So there's no in-game music right now. Ah! <laughs> Fatal Boiler Explosion. That's, That's very cute. Scene 2. I want to get the keys first. So the keys That's open the easier. door. No, they don't. They're just things things to get. They change. What you pick up changes what adds on to the back, too, which right. is cute. The keys, I guess, add those coal cars, those gray wheeled mm. cars, looks like. Scene complete. You can get everything, right? Yes. So it's going to be get more difficult in terms of planning your route now, I think, because you're going to get really long and you don't want to box yourself in. See, I didn't do that, but that's okay. If you push and hold it too long, you'll, you'll know, overturn. Yeah. Oh, the joystick's hot. I hate it. I hate it so <laughs> I'm, much. I am burning up. <laughs> it is so warm in this room. Oh, the door's closed. That's why. Well, did you guys eat all your treats? Didn't even notice. That one's all done. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Did you get all your treats? Oh, I don't oh, know. I think he might have. Did you get them all? I'm a good Oh, there's still one bowler. in here. Is there still one? I'm a good cat bowler. Are you a good cat bowler? Ooh, this one's tough. I think I'll get rid of the trees. No, oh, I shouldn't get rid of the trees first. Are you playing with it? Oops, that one was a mistake. Hey. Oh, no. No! Train derailed. Has a different... Uh, different message for each different type yeah. of crash or is it just a random message i bet it's maybe? random that's very cute good job uh, i pressed See? up to at the wrong i pressed up at the wrong time yeah okay so you have to out. time it up with tiles I'm which is out. which is challenging because you can't do it too early and you can't do it too late Probably open the door. It's really hot. It is really hot. At 27. So it started hot. at 25. It's 27 now. I should, oh, I should bring the, the um, fan down. That's the last game. I have to make some room here. Yeah. Lots of room. It's Tron light cycles. No. You're in trouble. No. Just in case. We'll do a little diversion there. There we go. 
So what was the lineage of this game? It was PC to 8-bit to, to 5200. Or 8-bit to PC to 5200. No, 5, no, no. I just said the right one. Oh, you did. Yeah. PC to 8-bit to 5200. It's, uh... I've Ooh. played very similar games. Maybe not this one. There are lots like this. <laughs> this one is a good theme, though. Like, it I like makes it with the sense. trains and then the cars adding onto the trains and depending on what you get, yeah. It's very easy very to... Very precise. It is very precise. Because you have to do it at the right time. Which, mm, I don't know if that counts as fighting with controls. It almost... Oh, it almost feels like you're fighting with controls. Yep. 27C, 80F. That sounds miserable for indoors. It is miserable for indoors. Yeah. It's, um, it's not a... It's been time. a warm day. It was a warm day today. A little bit warmer um, yesterday, but it is a warm day today as well. And, and to be oh. to be fair, this room is a hot room because of the lights. And the rest of the house is, is much, much more reasonable. It's not quite so bad. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Ooh, we got those cartoons, too. <laughs> we did. We're infiltrated by the U.S. No matter how much, how hard the uh, Canadian government... Oh the my Canadian God. Broadcast Corporation Tri tries to feed Tri us uh, Canadian propaganda. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we watched a lot of Canadian kid yes. shows as well. Because there was quite good Canadian kid shows. Oh, yeah. But we got all the And American if we named them, too. you'd be like, eh. Yeah. So we're not going to name Never it. heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you can turn right Unless around. Unless you're talking about Degrassi. Everyone knows Degrassi. Yes, so. which is Canadian. Yeah. Uh, you Film can't do that China. on television. Yes. That went to the U.S. as well. It went to the U.S. I'm not sure if they always if they had different kids or no. if they had the same ones. The they have Alanis Morissette? Yeah. Really? It's the same That was one. filmed in my hometown. Um, well, most of the stuff. And was. I knew um, people who were actors on it because they went to my high school. Oh. So, nice. kind of funny. Um. Alanis Morissette is from Ottawa, too, so there you go. Right. Uh, the raccoons! The raccoons? Yes. Oh, there you go. And, weirdly, it's like we're all in a small town. My friend's father was a producer of the raccoons, mm, of the animated yes. series. So, there you go. Ever done a Canucksploitation film festival? <laughs> that would be pretty fun, actually. Uh, well, we just watch all the David Cronenberg films. No, Canucks... Well, yeah. <laughs> Exploitation. No, because it has to have a Canadian element. I'm not sure the Cronenberg films necessarily tout just their Canadianness. They uh, have to have a Canadian element. Canadian bacon. Uh, that was a good film. That's a good film. That is a good film. All the Canadians play Americans, and all the Americans play Canadians in that film. Yeah. McMeef says, oh, wow, that's cool. I love the raccoons. Yeah, I, I really like the raccoons. That was one of my favorite. Another one for um, exploitation you could watch is Strange Brew. Bob oh, and Doug yes, Bob and Doug. I mean, and then just watch um, a marathon of the kids in the hall. To <laughs> yes. me, I there's mean, so much Canadianness in that TV series. Oh, yeah. And they're so friggin' funny. So, oh, yeah. Definitely one of my favorites. Yep, yep, yep. Not a lot of that now because media just isn't the same anymore. It's media is worldwide, so it's just yeah, you and, can't and, stop and the it. CBC still exists, but their shows don't kind of get other than maybe Schitt's Creek. That's the yes. last one that did really well, Canadian that show that actually got kind of doesn't feel some Canadian bigger though, appeal, and they didn't. But it it, it feels Canadian, but they uh, don't pretend to be Canadian. They just pretend to be from a small, small town, but they're town. basically. Yeah, it's a small Canadian town. Canadian town, town yeah. Um, I didn't know that You Can't Do That on Television was Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't uh, show itself off as Canadian, though. Yeah. I don't think there's any... Probably some spelling, if they spelled color. Mm. In, uh, in the uh, non-American way, I'm going to say. It's not Canadian. It's the worldwide, how we spell our stuff. Yeah. Chitlidlaw, my father had this C-band satellite when I was in high school and we got CBC on it. Ah. I watched, watched Kids in the Hall sometime. I mean, that was, um, Lauren Michaels yep. made that one too. And it's just so odd and unique. It's so good. I really like the Kids in the Hall. I, I, I even liked the late season. Like they did one, they did one season with them no, it's, it's a more decent recently season. and it's a decent Couple season. Years ago. It's pretty funny. So... Uh, I'm crushing your head. Crush, crush, crush. 
You'd have yes. to be pretty old to know SCTV. This should be the right crowd. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I didn't watch SCTV. But I don't TV think though. it made it to the U.S. It did a uh, little bit. Probably a little bit. Yeah. That's seventies, early eighties. That's quite, yeah. quite old. Quite old. Murdoch Mysteries. Yeah, they were quite popular and played for many seasons too. Um, Br Pocock says my hometown is is in a ton of movies, but we had. We had the only spaceport west of Kazakhstan. Spaceport! spaceport. That's nice. kind of a cool claim to fame. Yeah. Yeah. I think Kids in the Hall started as Lauren's backup plan. If writer's <laughs> strikes went on too long and he couldn't start SNL on time. Oh. Is it? Never heard that. That's interesting. That is interesting. Because yeah. they were like a theater troupe. Yep. And so then he adapted it into a TV show. trouble you're gonna have to do a loop around the outside i, I think, think i'm okay i think yeah. i've i've fixed the issue here you're gonna have to get that key though that's fine i got it i got it under control nice we're on nice. scene 10 if you divide 50 by oh, titusville kennedy space center so in florida i was thinking oregon i've been to the kennedy space center i i went when i was in tell in, that story uh, again I'm sure you've told that. Well, on. there's so much of a story, no. but I went in college and I had to convince the people I was with who were trying to do spring, spring break stuff. I'm like, I want to go to the Kennedy Space Center. And so a bunch of people came. They, they, were all, they were all complaining. And then they went and everyone was like, oh, that was really fun. They were <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you guys I'm dead. suck. <laughs> oh, this one's getting hard now. Yeah, you're going to have to plan your route completely. Oh, we moved to Oregon last year. Oh, okay, so you lived in Florida for quite a while. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed Maybe the this Kennedy does Space have 50. Center. It was Look really fun. Five times, uh, yeah, maybe ten. We'll do a couple more. Yeah. Uh, I think I have to do go this way and then get the drinks. Mm. Yeah. You can't miss anything. I think no, you have to do it one, in one one yeah. perfect. This one's a one goer. <gasps> oh, you're dead. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. No, no, oh, no. You're good. You're good. Okay. That Never was mind. just lucky, actually. Never mind. So this path has to be perfect. Oh, very close. Side. Very close. Actually, this will be the last level because I'm sick of it. Okay. Uh, I'm sick of it. I'm it's sick it's of getting it. hard. It is hard. Uh, the the controls are like fiddly. Because you have to be so... You have to press it when your train is in the tile. You want to turn it in. So you have to... That was a joystick thing. I did not press left. Tanya's vindicated. <laughs> Only happened once, though, not constantly. But I don't know what happened. I think it was a spring back. Oh, it's easy. It's easy to. Ah! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay, we did it. Yep, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of challenge. Luckily, you can start off where you made it up to. It's one of those games, which is really nice. I'm not sure why they couldn't play the music in the... It probably couldn't go all into memory or something. Why can't they play this music while the game is going? It's all there. I don't know. I don't know how to program 5200 or 8 bits, so... Can you pass through the exit without leaving the level if you haven't collected everything? I think it's, it's a closed door. Yeah, you have yeah. to get every single thing on the screen, and if you watch... It opens. If you watch, the last thing I get... It opens the door because gotcha. it's not the keys that open the door it's they just happen to be keys yeah, yeah. yeah. oh i can't uh what is it i remember the commander rick show which covered comic books sci-fi and fantasy oh i didn't know until years later that god. rick was also on the red green show oh my god you're the only other person ever to mention that show commander rick it's not the name of the show uh the name of the show is Something like oh, space something or it's a it's yeah I I'm gonna look that one up yeah 
I watched that religiously because I worked in a comic book store yeah. at the time. So it was really interesting to see interviews with the, the writers and mm. um, the illustrators of the comic books. I don't, if you say that... Prisoners, Prisoners of, of gravity, gravity! That's it. Some do space. And he was in yeah. a spaceship. Right? Yes. And you would interview people from a spaceship. It's funny. I don't think I ever liked that show it because was I was not into super comic books. Geeky show. But like, I do remember it. The a... moment you said the name, I'm like, I remember that. I remember that being on TV. Yep. How long was it That's on right. for? Must have been on for a couple of years. Interesting. Red Green was fantastic too. That's very Canadian. Oh my goodness, it's so Canadian. Um It's like Canadian redneck stuff. Sort of. And also <laughs> also like uh, you know, uh, the older generation. Oh, five years. Like, my dad finds that show absolutely hilarious. Prisoners of Gravity. I can't believe you're, you're, you're looking at this. Well, the main guy, Rick Green. It is part of the Red Green. Was not only on the Red, Rick, um, Red Green show, but he, I think, was also on another Canadian show, it, a sketch show called The Frantics. Oh, The Frantics, yes, yeah. Which is very, it's another Canadian sketch show. Um, very weird, but very, had really, really good skits as well. Mm. But anyway, a bunch of stuff we're talking Don't about. Don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty cool stuff. Yeah. I don't know if anybody saw um, that one, The Frantics. Four in the Floor, they're also remember. called. Four in the Floor, I remember that. That's yeah. the same same thing. Same group? Yeah. 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 And they had an incredible uh, song at the end of it. We have not seen Hundreds no, of Beavers. We saw ahead of a movie we were watching the trailer ad for it or the bizarre. ad for it. I was like, I think we might need to see that, but we haven't seen it. Oh, Red Green made it to PBS. Oh, really? Yes, they did. Yeah, Red Green was on PBS. Mm. Yeah. It sounds perfect for PBS because it's yeah. weirdly wholesome. <laughs> it is very wholesome. Um, uh, But it's still pretty funny in the sketches and the things he builds. Yeah. Like, they're just ridiculous. And it's kind of, it, it reminds me of British television, actually. Something yes. about it, like kind of, kind of like. Well, Canadians are kind of half British. We have this half British sense well, of. Well, there's humor. a lot of that influence in some of the art, like for, yeah. especially from like that era, right? So yeah. I mean, anyway. yeah, Kids in the Hall's biggest influence was uh, Monty Python. True. Yeah. True. They dressed up a lot as women. Yeah. Right. So, um, very dry sense of humor as well, Ugh. and uh, didn't have endings to their sketches either. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Like, End of sketch. Yeah. <laughs> Off we go. Yeah. <laughs> no big joke. Yeah. What is your favorite Kids in the Hall? Sketch? If you had to pick one character or sketch, like character. Oh, it's Gavin. You love Gavin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The get the um, Bruce McCullough dressing up as a little kid with a baseball hat and yeah. a backpack asking inane questions yeah. and bothering people till they just couldn't stand him anymore. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Like asking what? How much would my head cost if, if it was a... <laughs> Like he was in a butcher shop and he was like, how much would my head cost? He had this strange, strange voice. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah. I like I've, the chatty, I've seen them a bunch of I like the chatty Cathy's. French they were always the floor. my favorite. Yeah, somebody yeah. else saw that too. Red Green sometimes gets lumped in chicken with Chicken Lady is pretty good too. Yeah. I yeah. Kinda pretty got absurdist. Tired, tired yeah. of Chicken Lady. It's very But absurdist. I do like the chatty Cathy's. I the do Chicken like Lady, when she revisits her house and goes back to her home, that's a really good one. She oh, has yeah. flashbacks and it's like completely bizarre <laughs> yeah. oh my god it's out of control bizarre or, or what is it daryl 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 he's pretty good too yeah that one yeah. yeah he's like he's german and he's yeah. he just doesn't have the quite the sense of humor or understanding yeah. of canadian ways yeah. or north american yeah. ways yeah there's a lot of great there's characters there's a lot of good ones yeah um, I'm sure some stinkers too, but the good ones are good. So not many stinkers, yeah. but there are some. Yeah. Um, or any of the absurdist. Um, Bruce McCullough. Bruce McCullough. His um, absurdist mini sketches. movies. Yeah. They're really good because they're like just totally Wait, totally out there. weird. Yeah. They're not even like funny. Some of them. They're yeah. just bizarre. Um, so what's coming up with the show? We're going to be playing Last Strike DX at some point when we can find a nice spot for it. But before we go to PRGE, because mm -hmm. it finishes just after PRGE, and I don't know how much of a break we're going to need mm -hmm. after that, because it's quite intense. Um, 
and lots of open things so i'm just watching for stuff, um, stuff that's coming up excellent um excellent. that's kind of gave us this opportunity to revisit some old 5200 games and that's why we're playing them today not a lot of action going on a lot of people prepping for prge a lot of the developers um the non 8-bit polish developers because mm. they have nothing to do with prg but like the 2600 and 7800 and 5200 um, people are just polishing up their demos and their nice. releases right now so yes. it's like lots of good stuff it's coming. always a super kind of quiet time mm -hmm. but intense time for them behind the scenes but quiet time mm -hmm. in terms of public releases mm. um so it's a good time to catch up yes prge is in 20 days 19 days something like that it's it's coming oh it would be 20 yeah it'd be three weeks from now right yeah yeah Oh, you made it pseudograph just, in, <laughs> just time. in time. Just in time, yeah. Uh, Carl G, I use ZPH to all polish on my <laughs> there demo. There you go. That's what we're here for. Yeah. We're being sneaky. <laughs> yeah, it's super intense for them. I think uh, multiple people, I've talked to them, I think the deadline for them is the 15th to get everything done, for at least the demos, not for the things for going in cartridges and being sold, but the demos. Mm. Um um, so they have a hard deadline in nine days, sort of remind you, <laughs> but yeah, I missed out a Super Mario Brothers for the Intellivision. Yeah, that looked pretty cool. Yeah, some of those stuff for the Intellivision and Coleco are like super limited time, especially mm. things associated with the big N as well. You have to buy it that right then and there yeah. or you it's just gone forever. It's gone. Yeah. yeah. Or you have to buy it for $300 on eBay later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take a bet says whether to VHC or Cyrano J will drop a couple more games <laughs> first. Hey, that'd be good. Mm -hmm. uh, but VHC has some games, two games coming out for PRGE, yes. yeah. but those are those are done. He doesn't have to work on Ooh, those. Oh, Jumping at Shadows. It's yes, Jumping at Shadows. That's a big one for the Jaguar. It's I so beautiful. I really want to play that all the way through. That looks amazing. It's a long game. There's yeah. a lot which of Which is levels. fantastic. Which yep. is fantastic, yeah. It'll keep you busy for a long time. Like I was doing beta testing, <laughs> and I I didn't get through all of it. I think it made yeah. it up to World 4. Well, you got pretty far, six. I thought. But, yeah. It's just, it's it's hard. It gets harder and harder. And mm. you have to get much more tricky and really good with the ways that you manipulate your character. Yep. I'm getting that after i get the exo special mm. edition yeah that looks really nice with mm. those extras and can't wait for the penult map the box as in well the box, the box in the box the box in the box in the box in the box <laughs> yeah. yeah nested boxes yeah is there a game in here i don't really care i want all the i got look at all these boxes i bet 10 uh, plus 10 on vh let's see insider trading though so vr pocock knows maybe something i mean coming. that's a safe bet yeah. i mean <laughs> if if you're on discord you've you've seen a lot of action from mm -hmm. vhzc <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't know. I bet just because he's posted a lot of stuff, I won't mention the game because I don't know. I mean, the Discord's not private. Mm. Anybody from Atari Age can join the Discord. But he's working feverishly on a game right now. Mm. And I'm betting it's going to be a demo at PRG. Um, it is, it's a game that we've played on the show way, way back. So he's continuing to work on it. It's Half-Life 3. That is great. <laughs> it's a 2D top-down Half-Life 3. <laughs> Head crabs, tile movement, mm -hmm. get the crowbar, tch, 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 three hits for the head crab. No, it's not Half-Life 3. <laughs> that would be cool, though. Somebody make it. There you go. Atari 2600, Half-Life Half 3. Half-Life 3. <laughs> yeah. And then we can say Half Life Three was released. Yeah, it, was on, it came out on the twenty six hundred. Yeah, in, that would be hilarious. Quarter life in twenty twenty five. Then all you have to do <laughs> is get the blessing of Gabe, and then it's official. Gabe. <laughs> Gabe, the the guy who, who runs all like Steam and. Oh, funny! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's so funny. Is there oh. some VHC? Uh, yes, there are some Atari eight bit VHC games. Um. I will name them off for you right now because I keep track of in the background. <laughs> As I play the games, I add them to the list. So let's see what the latest Robot Tito is the latest one we played. So 8-bit games he has made. Uh, I ran for 8-bits, a Endless Runner. Really, really good Endless Runner. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all the ones I have. 
Um, Tan, you can see which one I'm going to point out, but that's the one he's working on. Okay, okay. Remember that one at all? It's a uh, while back. No, I don't. Uh, Interesting. Let's I see don't. the last time we played it. Uh, I'm sure it'll be else. revealed soon enough. So the R-Type 7800 prototype has been getting attention. I really hope I, that leads to someone else taking over its development. And why it's it. been getting attention, I don't know. Mm, I think people have been posting it. But it's, really? it's old. It, it was released a while back, and they haven't been working on it for a while. But mm. um, Interesting. It's Sometimes you have to bring by, attention back to something. And I don't know. It's done by a guy who does incredible demos, Yeah. but doesn't make any games. It hasn't made much in the way of games. Okay. He just makes these demos enough to prove it can be done. Yeah, so it's it's that's what he's trying to prove. And everybody's blown yeah. away by yeah. these demos. Yeah, yeah. And then he goes on to another one and does another <laughs> amazing demo. Yeah. And then goes, eh, I'm done. Yeah. But, you know, that, some people do that because it's difficult to make a full game. The fun part is getting, you know, the kernel, the thing working. It's like, yep, yeah, it's done. Yep, it can be done. And now I'm bored of it. Now I don't want to do all the level planning and all the intricacies of hitboxes and, yeah. So I can see why they why they do it. It's it's Eagle, I believe. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's one's Eagle, but Eagle does that a lot too. Mm. Um, I I've begged him to do stuff, and he's like, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I'll just make awesome demos. <laughs> uh, nothing's just preventing other people yeah. from doing it. That's it's true. like here it is. It's but Eagle's a magician too. So yeah. that's, and he makes his, some makes of my ten boards. liners started as demos or proof of concept. Yeah. 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 Last ten percent of a game is often the least fun part. That's well, always that's true about everything. And the last ten percent takes ninety percent of the time. That's true. Yeah. I don't know if it should be counted as the last. 10%. I think that's true of any project. It's like uh -huh. the big stuff is fun, and then it comes to the little details at the end. You're Did like, you put oh, something in this. A tiny bit of fizzy water. Oh, it's all flat. It's almost all flat, so it tastes so funny. A tiny bit of fizzy oh, water. Why would you do that? I don't know. I it put some fizzy water. Weird. I had wine and because I made a spritzer, so I put some in mine, and then I was like, I'm gonna put a splash in you and see if you notice. I did. <laughs> it's bad. Is it bad? Well, it just makes it. It gives it. That, it's like flat. It's like flat pop, <laughs> except oh, it's sorry. flat water, and yeah. it's got this taste of the carbonation, but it's flat yeah. carbonation. Well, I think you're thinking it, of tonic water, yeah. Gamma Death. <laughs> It's just it's just fizzy water. It's something nine, something nine in it. Not nine as a number, oh, but oh, blah in, nine. In tonic water? Yeah. It has to have that ingredient. It can't just be tonic water. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, there's there's an ingredient in tonic water. Malaria. Tonic oh yeah. Water. <laughs> that's not how you spell malaria, but that's okay. Quinine. 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 Yeah. Oh, Prowse Seven got there. Yeah, and Beer Poka. Did they beat me? Yeah. Uh, I think I think with the delay uh, they probably did. So yeah. yeah. Well, no, it, it pops up instantly. No, you got it. But I, I oh. think from them hearing you and them responding, they probably got it faster than okay. you, if you know what I mean. It grows under black light. Re what? Quin oh. Quinine? Quinine? It glows. Okay, <laughs> grows. I was like, yeah, it does. Uh, it does. If it you, grows um, under black light. No, that's true. Because <laughs> if you take tonic water and, and uh, you have it in like a bar or club where they have black lights, it glows like a oh, yellowy white, if oh. I recall. Yeah. Uh, but we are going to be at PRGE. Yay. We're going to be there um, setting up, and yes. then we'll be there for the full thing. We'll be yes. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Look for us. We'll be handing out stickers yep. and coasters. So you and we like to, to do tons of oh, coasters. Gosh. Yeah. Okay. Three I've got to get on the coasters. It's the weekend. I feel so thrown off because of Labor Day. Oh, that that's it's Friday, why. and that it's Friday, it and it's like the Friday. weekend. I still have work to do though, but that's whatever. Um, but <laughs> it's the weekend, so I can work on coasters. I, I look forward to that. Yay. You have to make a lot. Think about how many people we I just bought. Last time. I just bought coaster molds, so I can Perfect. make a bunch at once. Oh, are they the shiny bevels? Uh, no, uh, they're not. They don't have the holographic. They're just regular. Oh, those are so cool. But I have stuff I want to do. Yeah. Okay. I have Yay, stuff coasters. I do. Yay, coasters. Yay, coasters. Yeah, no, I, I have, I bought some um, colored glass that I'm going to put in them oh. to make them have like texture and shiny. Ooh. So I have plans. Special I have plans. Coaster. They're going to be really nice. Um, also, we're, I don't know how we're going to do this, but we'll be doing an Atari Age PRGE demo day. Mm. Um, so we're going to be playing very quickly through games we have played before, but that will be on demo 
at PRG at the Atari Age booth. Mm -hmm. Plus the exclusive world premiere of a game that will be demoing, Pop Box Arena. Mm -hmm. So that'll be just before we go to PRGE. Um, the day, just a couple days before we are there. So that should be fun. I might bump that back. I don't know if we need that day to prepare to go. So that might be stricken because that's like really close. Like, so that might be bumped back. That's to the, the day before we leave. I think it is. So yeah. that might be a bit much because we'd wake up in the morning. Right. I think, let me see. 24th. The, it's the day before. So oh, we, yeah, we, I'm, I'm at work that day. Yeah, that's we not leave be on good. the day after, so yeah, yeah, I might bump that back to the twentieth, actually. Mm. So I'll do that after. Um, I'll reschedule that for the twentieth, but plus it gives more time if yeah. we don't finish it. I think yeah. that's a good end. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, then you won't Sorry. be doing it. Sorry, then I because, won't be doing it. No, because it's a twelve p.m. Well, day. that's a good time to do. There, it, their though. co-hosts are back next Friday. I think that's actually, Darcy first. Excellent. Good. And then Erlen. So you Excellent. get a Darcy and an Erlen day before we go to PRGE. Yay. Yeah. One day we'll drag one we'll of them down get, there. Tell all their uh, travel stories. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Back from vacation. Yep. I love travel stories. Waiting for a 5200 flashcard, the Atari Max. It's really great. Runs everything you throw at it. Mm. Um, yeah. Uh, highly recommended. And it'll um, come with that uh, first game that we played, mm. uh, which was... Uh, I have a terrible memory, so... Rod, no, beef drop that you can't get anymore. So that's kind of a bonus if they still include it. Mm. So I played Rod Man, which was quite interesting, except mm. for the screensaver, which completely made it hard mode. <laughs> um, but, but we were getting the better. The game at it. was pretty good. I, th I, the I like concept the twist on it. Of the bombs and the Pac Man type gameplay yep. with some terrain in there too. Yeah, it changed And the some terrain. fast and slow. I, I, I liked it. it. It felt like a very solid, fresh. complete arcade type game. Yep, a fresh. I yeah, it, it could be an arcade game, actually. Yeah, very arcadey. Some, some person back in the 80s going, oh, Pac Man's big. Let's make another maze game, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but change it up a bit. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we played Beef Drop, a very, very um, good burger time Excellent. port. And Train what? 1, 2, 3, a uh, yeah. great snake type game. Did we only play Train really, 1? It's more of the same. More it's of just, the same. It's okay. just more uh, Extended. More yeah. Okay. So cool. there's tons of puzzles nice. to go through if you want, if you like that game. Mm -hmm. um, it gets harder, obviously. You have to be very precise in your turns. Um, so yeah, a lot of fun 5200 games. Mm -hmm. We'll do another 5200 uh, day in the future. Mm -hmm. um, there's many more to play. Um, there's a lot of four player games that I kind of want to save for a four player day. Oh, we have to have a four player day. So yeah. yeah, so the 5200 so will come out yeah. because it has actual four ports on it. You can play four players. So there'll be some more quad tire games. There'll be some more 5200 uh, games, maybe uh, when it cools down a bit, we definitely don't want four people in here and two cats. Yeah, it Six might have to beings. be in the winter. That might be a winter activity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sid is lit. Oh, he is. He's all Come tied up in the uh, cord for the. Uh, oh, oh, you're so floppy? sweet. Oh, he's so floppy. He's poor. Oh. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, he had a big day. Yeah, it was a bit much, eh? He had a big, big yeah, day. He going needs to a the rest. Vet. He needs a rest. Isn't that cute? <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's a floppy cat. Yeah. <laughs> he's so soft is he the vet commented on his uh, his white tipped ears she yeah she thought they were the cutest I thing i think they ever. are cute cause... and she said he she's never seen a cat with white like the tipped, white tips two white tipped ears yeah you're so unique and a black nose yeah you've got such pretty they called him a cow cat he is a cow cat. Yeah. Yeah, he is a cow cat. Two, Oreo. Two time now. Oh, an Oreo, you said. He has he, an yeah, Oreo cat. Yeah, one of them called, called, called him an Oreo kitty. Yeah, he is a bit of an oh. Oreo kitty, yeah. No, no treat time. They're he, they're both so sleepy. Yeah. We'll save it till next time. Yeah. Okay. Um, so thanks for hanging out Thank with you. us today. It was a lot of fun. I yeah. always love playing the 5200 because it's so unique. Mm -hmm. um, Carl G, Crunch of the Clown, Nostalgic, Beer Pocock, Gamma Dev. Uh, beer polka get get some get some salad dressing going there he'll know what that means um prow seven carl g chitlet law uh vitoko uh dan abc polygox ivory tower collections uh 
Chitlala. I said that one. Nick Muse. Dan ABC. I think you've said these. Victoco. Saying it twice is not a bad thing. Cubanismo. Yay. Cubanismo. Miss Crypto Coffee. S. Ramirez. I didn't see S. Ramirez. He just jumped in and out. Jumped in and out. Yeah. Uh, and that's the top of the chat that nice. I can scroll back to. Uh, right. and thanks for tuning in and uh, have a great weekend. Yes. We didn't even tell you weekend. about our concert, but uh, we'll talk about it next time. Uh, if we remember. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. Friday Night Raid. Yes. Uh, yeah. See who's Atari around. Atari Beer Pong, maybe. Oh, baby. Can't cat. even do this properly. I know. He's just so tired. He just, oh. James picked him up and he just fell asleep in his lap. He, I don't, he barely <sighs> woke up, I think. He's like, oh. So sleepy. Are you tired? Such a sleepy kitty. Oh. Let's see. Go to following. Our beer pong is there. Let's pass it off to another Canadian. Very, very nice Canadian who plays Atari games. Yes. Wish it did autocomplete. But you have to type exactly the whole thing. No autocomplete for raids. I'm sure there's a something. You can do that. Mm. I've just discovered the Atari beer pong streams to last more than six hours yeah he plays rpgs yeah he plays long and the same rpg for like he a plays year all now. night too like i think he's on the east coast as well so he plays up really late, late. So really late. late he playing yeah. Shadowgate. okay well there you go let's hand you off to him um so have a great time at the target beer pong have a great weekend we'll yes. be back on tuesday with more uh tuesdays with tanya and uh and kitties and kitties and, and then uh, friday's uh Aaron yep. and uh, darcy, darcy first hopefully. Then Yay. yeah hopefully hopefully they're up for it um so we'll see you on tuesday bye bye everyone bye, -bye. bye, -bye.